When the DJI Mavic 3 was released, it was missing some of the most valued features because the firmware wasn't fully complete and it's caused quite a bit of controversy. Well, we finally have the update that they promised us and we have it a month earlier than we were expecting. So now, is the Mavic 3 the drone that we all expected it to be? Let's take a quick look at the newly added features. So here's a list of everything that this update adds. You know, you can go ahead and pause that if you like. This is firmware 01.00.03.20. Now I'll be doing an in-depth video on the focus track feature real soon, but I wanted to get this video out to let all of you know about the update. Everyone's gonna be talking about it in the next couple of days, so I just wanted you guys to be aware of it. Now focus track is one of the most anticipated features of the Mavic 3 because of the improved obstacle avoidance that it's claimed to have. So today I took it out to test with both my new Varla scooter as well as my pickup and it did very well. In the first few seconds that I tried it out, it avoided these tree branches as it was following me on my scooter. Now I still was very careful with it. I'm still a little gun shy after crashing my Mavic 3 earlier about three weeks ago. And uh, so tree branches are still kind of, I'm still pretty skeptical to fly around trees right now, but it did really well. And what I like about this, about the active tracking is, it's so cool how you are able to change the tracking position as it's in flight. And I was able to do that with my pickup. I was driving down the road and all I had to do was tap on the screen, choose where I wanted the Mavic 3 to move to, and it did it. So it was really cool. Now this allows you to easily create some cinematic movements without even trying. So like I said, watch for an in-depth video coming real soon on the focus tracking. I'll cover the active track and the point of interest and the spotlight mode. And I'll also test it out a little bit to see what it's capable of. Now next you are able to easily capture hyperlapse videos with the Mavic 3. It is now so easy to add the appeal of a hyperlapse to any of your video projects. I took it for a test run just a few hours ago and it performed perfectly. The master shot function allows anyone, regardless of flying or video skills, to capture and create a fun video project that has a variety of movements and angles. The drone does all of the work for you and it creates a video that's ready for you to share with your friends and your family. Now I didn't get a chance to test this one out because I ran out of daylight, but to be honest, I don't use the master shots at all, but I do know that many new drone pilots appreciate it and many people have been able to create some pretty cool stuff with it. Next, this update added raw only photo mode, which allows you to save your images in raw, giving you the ultimate flexibility when you're editing. Another issue that this update corrects is an issue that I experienced myself in my review model. This is my replacement model from DJI Care Refresh, but in my review model, I noticed this on like the second day that I was flying it. And when I was landing the drone and it was hovering just before it landed, it, it looked like the two rear prop arms were shaking. Like they were just ever so slightly shaking. So I'm like, that doesn't seem right. So I recorded that in slow motion on my phone and then you can really, really see it. And I didn't see that it affected the performance at all. It didn't affect how it flew but it was kind of concerning to see that shake in those rear prop arms. Now with this update, that is fixed. The advanced return to home accuracy has been improved as well as the obstacle sensing performance and hover stability. Now I haven't noticed any deficiencies in any of those three areas, except for the one time that I flew my Mavic 3 into a tree branch, but that was a pretty extreme circumstance and that was pretty much my fault. Now I've read on the forums that some people were having trouble connecting the drone to their PCs directly by USB, and this update addresses that. It also fixes some remote control stability issues that many users were having. The final two improvements are related to the image quality, and this update removes some of the colored dots that some users were experiencing, and some people were also noticing some color cast in certain scenes, and this removes that as well. So that's everything that's included in this most recent update. Like I said, it's pretty cool that we got it earlier than expected, and for me, the biggest thing, of course, is the focus tracking. And I think that's probably the biggest thing for you. Most of you watching right now, that's what you're really interested in is that active track and that focus tracking. Now there's a couple things you can't focus track in 5K. Uh, you can't focus track in zoom mode. So if you're zoomed in, you can't do that either. And I think there's a few other things that people were hoping for that we're not seeing yet. But I also think that this is the first firmware update and they're still working 
all the time on bringing these other improvements to us, but I'm really happy that they brought the most important ones to us, and I think many of you will be as well. Hopefully this relieves some of the animosity towards this drone that it's had since it came out. You guys, it's an amazing drone, and I get it. A lot of people were mad because it, it did not include many of the things that it probably should have. It's like buying a car with only three wheels on it, but uh, but it it's such a good drone, and I guess I, I get it. I get they want to get it out before the holidays, and now it's almost complete. It's pretty much complete before the holidays, so you should still be able to get one of these for Christmas if it's something on your wish list. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments. Also, again, watch for that uh, focus track video coming real soon. Thanks for watching today, everyone. Have a great day, and as always, fly safe and fly smart.